Meow. Whoa! How's it going, everyone? My name is Swing Point, and welcome back to a little bit of Franbo. Right now, where we're starting is we just picked up a bunch of different items, because if you remember at the end of last episode, which has been a little while, my bad, we just ran into, like, some creepy babies, and we had to pretty much just go find a bunch of different supplies to cook up a potion. I went and found all those in the background for you guys, so you guys don't have to sit here and, like, watch me find everything. And now we are about to go ahead and do the potion curse thingy on the twins. You'll see what I'm talking about. So sit back, relax, and have some fun. There it is. Now the girls are here. We should be able to get their hair. Fran, here are the materials you need. Have you studied the ritual? Yes, but I'll need more time. I can't remember all the words. Well, learn them fast and let us know when you are ready. Okay. We can do that. We can do that. We can do that. We can do Oh, all right. All right. Psst, girl. I think you need help getting rid of this bag. I can do that for you. But I may need it. No, you don't trust me. If you want to get out of here, this bag must disappear. I'll take it. You didn't see me. Bye. Hey! 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 You stupid frog! Whatever. We're just going in, I guess. What's up, girl? We're waiting for you, Fran. Okay, well, let me use this on you. Look, lady, something is missing. I couldn't find your hair in the bag. Hair, you say, but there's no hair needed. We know that. Look for yourself! It's written down here in the recipe. That's true. How could we miss that? How could we miss this obviously just typed on thing in it? in typewriter ink, even though the rest of this was handwritten. There, now get prepared. Oh, God. Yuck. I'll let you know when I'm ready. Okay. Oh, my God. So I gotta put all this extra crap in the cauldron and then pour the boiling water over the person I want to be witch? And I gotta throw her in the middle of the pentagram. Okay. Okay. Well, let's just go ahead and put all my shit inside the cauldron. Now we have ourselves a creepy, creepy, oh god, a creepy little, little potion here. And I'm gonna pour it all over these unsuspecting twins. I feel a little wrong about this, but you know, do it for the vine. Do it for the vine here. Oh god, oh god, oh god. Oh god. <laughs> no? I wanted to pour it on you. Oh, I th Okay, so maybe this isn't gonna be as dark as I was expecting. I was expecting a friend to like sneak up behind them with a boiling thing of water, pour it on them, have them be going like, ah! and then we like drag her body into the pentagram. Maybe it's not gonna be quite so dark. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. Friend looks scared as all get out. Yeah, this is way less dramatic than I was expecting. Okay. You're, you're, you're just down with this? Sit down and close your eyes, ladies. Oh God. Oh god. Oh god. I don't feel good about this. Oh, well, how is that not burning? How can you just take that? It was just boiling. And now, I'll say the words. Okay, I actually try to say it. I'm not saying these words out loud. I don't want to get like cursed in real life. Fuck that. Wait a second, that is not the right spell, you tricked us! And now you're gonna die. You're gonna die. Whoa! Well? I got a key. I don't know what the key does. Don't know if it actually unlocks my cat. Like I told you, I don't trust Mr. Midnight. This cat's up to bad news bears. I've said this several times. This cat's a bunch of trouble. But uh, let's go back up here and try to free my cat. Hey, kitty. I got a key. I don't think it's actually going to work on this. What is it, Fran? Open the cage. I can't. The key doesn't. I told you it wasn't going to fit. I told you it wasn't going to fit. Do you see another keyhole somewhere? Yes, I saw one. Oh, God. I told you. I told you. I called it before, man. I freaking called it, Batman. Now we got to go over here and jam it in here. Oh, my God. We just murdered women. We just murdered these two girls in an attempt to save my cat. Let's go open this up. Hey. Oh, God. Is this a keypad? A puzzle? No, not more puzzles. Okay, we can do this, guys. We can do this. So much later that the old narrator got tired of waiting and they had to hire a new one. Yeah. Yes! Jesus! I 
did it all that just what would happen? Oh, 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 it's the twins. And they're dead inside a mirror. Oh, God, it's okay, Fran. Well, there's a key in here, isn't there? I'll take that. This must be the key to unlock the cage, finally. Okay. Sister promise, we, Clara and Mia Mbulamit, promise to revenge the unfair destiny it were decided for us. It were. Oh, it were. Whoa, oh, oh, it were. I remember it were from the beginning of the game when we saw his name. Okay. With blood and tears, we promise that we will kill him and bring our bodies back. We won't stand this any longer, even though we are sisters. We hate each other. And we will always hate each other. Nothing will ever change that. But for now, our bodies are attached to each other. We can't complete our task. The strongest will live forever and the weakest will die. Mother must die. Okay. That's weird. And here's some of the yellow duotine. Wow. Because I can't remember exactly, exactly what was going on. But there was a thing in the beginning of the game where there was like, after you hit your pills... It word was written on the wall, and I actually thought it was like a different solution for something else. I thought it was like draw it, spelled backwards, but that wasn't what the puzzle was. So it word is apparently this dude that's going around and terrorizing people. I think this is the key. Oh my god, let's cuddle with my kitty now. Your kitty, come on, kitty, let me hug you. Aw, come on, let's see it. Aww. 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 Oh, she's crying, man. Kitty. Aww. Oh, this feels so good. I'm free, friend. Thank you, my good friend. It's time to go home. You're free, my dear. Let's, let's just go home. Yes, let's go. Let's go. Aww. Look at how cute he is. Aww. Okay, so how do we get out of here, man? The freaking toad went ahead and took a... Took a bag to make it so I could get out of here? It was like the head of the virgin, wasn't it? That's probably what that was. Guarantee you that's what that was. You took a head of a virgin. So let's go, or let's go talk to the toad now. See what you took from me. I did it, sir. Toad, the girls are gone. I'm perfect. Now I can leave this place and go home to my family. Oh, don't lick your nads. Cat, come on. I want to do that too, sir. I finally found my kitty. I just want to go home and be with my own grace. But, but how am I going to get out of here? There's no boat. I would love to be able to help you, but I'm too tiny. Even though my body is quite moldable, it would be impossible for you to carry both the other side. Let me think about it. Don't leave us yet, please. Stay here, you stupid frog. So I got to think of a way to get out of here. God damn it. Can I ride a giant floating cupcake over to the other side? Maybe. That's what the baking soda is for, right? What are you doing in the ashes, you creepy little cat? Wait, does baking soda kill toads? Take this, toad. It may help. I'm not a bakery bun. But you are all slimy and soft like dough. You're right. It may work here. Here it goes. Whoa! <laughs> It worked! It did! I'm really big. I feel gorgeous. Great! Let's go, Mr. Midnight. Sure, Fran, I have only one complaint. The giant toad is staring at me. Yeah, he wants to help us. Alright, but if he tries anything, I'm gonna scratch him. That's okay, but just try not to hurt him too much while we're sitting on him. The water's deep, and we don't know what kind of creatures are in there, man. If we fall into the water, we could die, kitty. Oh, I promise I won't scratch the toad or pop him, whatever. Let's go. Alright! Girl, before we go, I gotta forgot to give you something. I saw you in this picture, so I thought it was yours. Aww. Yeah, because we lost our picture, didn't we? This book was with it, too. Oh, okay. I found my stuff. Wow, Toad. Good job. I thought I lost it forever, but th this book isn't mine. Oh, well, I'll take the book as a gift. It's always healthy to do some reading and have some pictures. Wow, thank you, man. Thank you. I like pictures. Let's go. Here. Let's go. Hold on tight. <laughs> That is an excellent picture! <laughs> Can we do it? I'm actually gonna play Frogger right now, aren't I? Okay, we can do this. No, no, jump! Oh, god damn it, I didn't mean to jump. Okay. We are actually playing Frogger right now! <laughs> oh my god. No! No, new flower! No! Damn it. Okay, so I can only go forward, so that sucks. Going in. 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 Yes, we made it! Oh, I gotta go again. This is so cool. It's like claymation. Damn it. Going in. Double click. Oh, yeah! Frogger victory! Did we make it? We did it. We did it. We did it. Yay! That was a very interesting sequence there. I did not see that coming at all. Here we are. Jump off me now. Let's go, kitty. <clears throat> Look at that. 
Goodbye, Mr. Toad. You have a good one. You look like you have kitty ears now. Well, now it's time to go home. Well, I hope you find your family soon, Mr. Toad. Thank you. You too. Farewell. Now, how did... What head... Did, I swear he took, like, a body or a head or something. Like, why did he steal something? Goodbye, sir. Thanks for the ride. So let's talk to our kitty. What's going to be the first thing we do when we get home, kitty? Eat, of course. Eat until I fall asleep. Sounds like Casey. <laughs> well, I think I would do the same. Well, let's see what's here, huh? Okay, that's weird. We're leaving, we're leaving, we're leaving. I don't know what we gotta do next, but I do know that this game gets progressively more and more and more and more weird. All like Alice, like, like creepy Alice in the Wonderland, basically. As if, okay. As if Alice in the Wonderland wasn't creepy enough, I think it gets more creepy. Oh dear, this bridge looks pretty scary. Ah, oh, friend, come on, we gotta go home. There ain't no time to be afraid now. As much as I like cats, I don't know if I trust Mr. Midnight. He kinda seems devious. Yeah, but I'm a bit afraid of heights. Uh, I, I can go first, all right? And then you can follow me. How's that sound, huh? Okay, kitty, you're so sweet. I'll be right behind you. I don't trust this cat. I don't trust it. The cat weighs like five pounds. I weigh like at least 70. I wonder how much Franbo weighs. Comment down below. How much do you think Franbo weighs? I would love to. Oh, God. Okay. We're fine. Kitty told me it was okay. Kitty told me it was okay. Kitty told me it was okay, you stupid cat. Come on, Fran. I'm waiting for you. Okay, keep going, cat. Keep going, cat. Come on. Fran? Wait. Oh! Oh! Whoa! Whoa, what the hell is that thing? That's that thing that's been following us around. He's at it! There you go, Mr. Midnight. Okay, that was creepy. That was creepy. Why are you crying blood? What the hell? You see that? Oh, I can't hold it anymore. I don't want to die. Come on, cat. Help me out here. Just meows at me. You won't die. Come on. Do it. Jump. All right, here I go. Ooh, ooh, there you go. Whoa, that's a strong ass cat you have there. Oh my god. <laughs> oh god, you dick, you troll, you son of a bitch. What the hell, cat? <laughs> oh my god. Oh, he's, oh, okay, so maybe he is on my side. If he's gonna jump down like that, maybe he does care. Oh my god, that was amazing. Don't be afraid, Fran. I can't believe- I got you, girl! Poof! <laughs> we all fall, and after the pain, we will rise. Who's that? I'm gonna take you and smash your face up against the bed, kid! <laughs> it's kind of what that looked like, didn't it? Oh, Aunt Grace, please don't leave me. Don't cry, my little girl. Your heart is pure, but your mind is tormented. Oh, God. Why do you cry blood? I don't get that yet. You have to stay and walk your own path. Please, Aunt Grace, why don't you just take me out of here, please? You just leave me all alone, just like my mother and father did. I'm sorry, my dear Fran. You'll soon understand. What? Oh, God. I don't get the blood, man. Aunt Grace, don't go, please. Please, please. Oh, whoa. This is the story of a girl who cried a river and drowned the whole world. <laughs> and she looks so sad in photographs. You gotta eat your medicine and go nuts. <laughs> huh. Okay. Somebody had a party last night. Okay. What are we gonna do about this? There's a naked girl running around somewhere here. Well, let me just click this cat here, huh? Oh, what happened? Where am I, friend? Where are you? Kitty? Well, let's go find our naked friend. We can do this. Oh, I have a cat paw with everything I touch now. That's awesome. Oh, God, did you eat it? No? Did you think she was going to be under that? Fran Shoe? I like playing as the cat, man. This is awesome. Fran Stockings? Fran's other shoe? <laughs> oh, whoa. This tree is sleeping. Hi. Ugh, what an ugly tree. I'll scratch you, you evil thing. <laughs> Kitty, stop it. What are you talking about, Kitty? Fran, my darling, is that you? It can't be. Oh my god, it is her. She's a tree. What is it, my dear? Of course. Who else would I be? Fran, you are a tree! <laughs> Don't be silly. Help me get up. Yeah, see, you're a tree. Wait a second. Where are my hands? Why can't I move? I'm telling you, my dear. You've become a tree. What, 
But how? My, my, I was at the end of the line. The big monster did this. I know it. Can he? He won't let us go home. Well, I hope he doesn't come back. He's pretty scary. He always comes back. I think I remember him from that night, the night mom and dad died. Kitty, I don't want to talk about it, okay? I just want to go home and not be a tree. But you're a tree, my friend. A tree. <laughs> I can't carry you all the way back home, you big loggy son of a bitch. Besides, I'm not sure where we are either. Well, am I going to die, Kitty? Tell me. Please don't say that, friend. Don't leave me. But I feel so weak and woody. Whoa! Hi. You gonna come sit? Okay. Yep, that's not what English looks like. We're just gonna... We're just gonna go with whatever that is. Cookie, cookie, out the room, the do the do. I don't speak whatever that is. Vegetable, fruit, beets. Oh god, okay, are you gonna help? Don't poke me! Hey, be careful, why are you attacking my tree? Could you please tell me where I am, sir? Hula, cocka, hula. Stop it, I'll scratch you, you son of a bitch. Hey, stop poking me! Stop it! What are they saying? Oh my kitty, what's happening to us? Yeah. Hola! <laughs> Seriously, stop poking me! I can't even do anything other than get poked! If this is a language that you guys understand, please translate it down below. I would love to know what this conversation is all about. Uh, my purse? Maybe this can help. Um, I'll see what I can do, Fran. Really? This, that, what's up, bro? Stop attacking my friend, you carrot. Oh, you're a carrot. Okay. It's a pretty fuzzy looking carrot you have there. What about this thing? An old vegetable sitting on a boat. I guess that's exactly what that is. Okay, I'm going over here now. Oh! What are these doing here? Hi! There's a purse? Oh, there's her purse that she was talking about. Okay, let's see what we can do here. Oh, what's this? Oh, I'll take this stone. It's shiny. So he's carrying it around in his mouth, so I can probably jam it in here, right? Crank, 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 and I'll jam it in. Come on. We're gonna click his face. Use crystal with this. There you go! Perfect. Let's go grab the purse. Thank you. Only because I'm the best. <laughs> that is so much of a cat right there. Cats all think they're the most amazing thing in the world. Okay, well, I got your purse. Let's fix this. Come on, Fran. Darling, I got it. Well, that's amazing. You are the best, Mr. Midnight. Now stop poking me. Now, show the sir. Who is attacking me in my family picture? Maybe he understands what a human is. I hope he does. He probably doesn't like humans. Humans eat carrots. Why would I do that? Okay, well, I'm gonna use this on you. Don't hurt me. Oh, what? What What are you doing? Where are you taking me, Mr. Vegetable? Are you going to save me? Like, I feel like they're good guys. I don't know why, but they keep poking me. They want to help you, Fran. I can feel it. Yeah, I can feel it, too. I can feel it, too, because we're not anywhere near to the end of the video game. That's why I can feel it. <laughs> Kitty, stop them. Please, don't leave me. I'll be right here with you. Kalumpa lumpa. Cool. What about your clothes? When you turn her back to normal, she's gonna be naked. That's a problem. Naked little girls cause jail. Oh, chapter three. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. Whoa, what is this place? What is going on here? This is cool. All right, guys, we're gonna have to end this episode here. Thank you guys very much for watching. I really appreciate it. If you guys want to see more, go ahead and leave a like and subscribe and then we'll be able to get these videos out as soon as we can. But aside from all that, I hope you guys are having a wonderful day and I'll see you in the next video that we do around here. Whee! Oh no, oh, they're taking water! Oh my god, I'm <laughs> The game you're about to play is an account of the tragedy that befell in a group of four youths. Names have been changed to respect what was left of the survivors. Oh my god, is this based on...